I'm Jared Leto from 30 Seconds to Mars, and you are watching my iHeartRadio Ask Anything chat. Our brand new song is called Seasons. And a very special thanks to Romeo and most requested live for having me on the show today to answer your questions. Very happy to be here. Uh, I love my iHeart peeps. Um, and thank you for the support with Seasons. It's been uh, absolutely incredible working with you guys. I love you. So I'm going to answer a few questions from people. Uh, I'm going to say some silly things probably uh, and dig into some end of the past, talk about the future. Um, yeah, here we are. Uh, I'm going to take a spoonful of, uh, been eating this mini popcorn, it's so strange, but uh, I have to eat it with a, a spoon, which is even stranger, I eat popcorn with a spoon, but I just tried this today because it's so small, it just, it, it gets in my beard and then it never gets out. Hmm. Who knew? Mini popcorn. Okay, now I'm jazzed up for the, for the chat. So, here we go. Um, I'm Jared, 30 seconds to Mars. Time from Chicago, Illinois says, take us back a few years. Take us back. When did you first get the call that somebody wanted to sign you to a label and which label was it? Wow, wow. You know, no, nobody wanted to sign us in the beginning. There were people that were interested and wanted to, and then their bosses would shut it down. Um, we were making very long songs at the time. We were making more kind of, I would say it was like, I always called it like, I had this name for it, it was like Neo Prog Rock, it was like Neo Prog Rock New Wave or Arena Art Rock, Neo, it was called, Neo Prog New Wave Arena Art Rock or something. I was a joke. I made up a name for it, but you know, it didn't really fit in to what was happening uh, uh, in, 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 in kind of the music scene and pop music or even in rock music at the time. And we wouldn't play LA in the beginning, so people really couldn't see us. We would only play outside. And the audacity to do that be like, well, if you want to come see us, you have to drive out to you know Santa Monica or Santa Barbara or Pomona or Bakersfield or something. Um, but I'm glad that we did it the way that we did it, and you know, nobody wanted to sign. Everyone turned us down. Every single label. And it wasn't uh, until we found someone to take a shot on us but it took a very long time to get a deal i think a couple of years at least of actively searching of course we were making music for longer than that thanks time lana from nashville when do you know it's time to release new music what triggers in your mind that is the right time well for us we just start we're so slow um we usually are you know look at each other and be like, shit, it's been like four years, we should probably put music out. So it's a little bit of that. It's a little bit of... But I always promise myself when I put an album out, I'm gonna make another album quickly and put that out. And I keep saying that to myself. Uh, and like I keep saying, okay, start. Let's start working on something new already. And I think the next time we'll make a rock album. So I heard some cheering a few people in Cleveland. Um, in Tampa, we love you. Will from Statham, Georgia, or is it Statham? Statham, 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 Georgia. Have you ever been vocally trained or are you self-taught? I'm self-taught. I've done a few vocal coaching sessions um not enough to ever really learn anything to be honest uh i learned to sing by singing for the most part um 
and I like to sing. I really oftentimes forget that I'm a singer. I just think, you know, I'm a songwriter probably mostly and a producer. And, you know, I sing almost by default, but, um, but I like to sing. I enjoy being up there with Shannon and playing songs. Mallory from Henderson, Nevada, my home state, Nevada. Where did you play your first gig as 30 Seconds of Mars? Well, our early shows, one of our early shows was in Canada. It was in Toronto at the Horseshoe. Uh, and it was like maybe 50 people there or something. Uh, small, small gig, it might have been 20 people, but it felt like 50. And 50 felt huge back then. Uh, so, yeah, those early shows, you know, we, we, we had very long songs. They were more kind of art rock or, you know, a little more progressive rock. Um, but it was exciting. I remember playing those shows and that feeling of like of accomplishment. Like, wow, getting up on stage and getting through it delivering the songs and there was something powerful about that kind of process and also really difficult the way that we wrote songs but I'd like to experiment that again experiment with that again you know there's something about like when you hold that guitar and you're on a clean channel and you just stomp on that distortion pedal and you launch into a chorus that's really exciting Hillary from Detroit, Michigan. How long will you be filming Tron and do you have to travel for any film? Yeah, we always have to travel. We're filming in Canada and we're also, we have a couple of shows. We have an iHeart show called Alter Ego this Saturday, actually. And uh, I don't know when this is coming out, but so I'll fly from Vancouver down just for that show and then back for filming. Um, and then we have a South America Lollapalooza tour right in the middle of filming as well. So yes. Uh, filming trot for four months. Jolene from Cleveland, Ohio. May I ask how the Empire State Building climb happened? Do you just call them up and say, I want to climb the building? Seems like there would be a lot of paperwork. Uh, yes, it's not that simple. When we called up, they said no. Uh, and then they said no again and no again. Um, but we were persistent and did everything we could to make it possible and it was a really fun thing to be a part of. Um, Jennifer, that was Jolene from Cleveland, Jennifer from Wilkes Bar, Pennsylvania. I would love to hear about your influences and mentors and music business. I don't really have mentors. I, I wish I did. I've learned a lot from people um, and I still learn a lot from people. But my influences, I mean, are probably musicians, bands that I loved. I loved The Cure, Led Zeppelin, you know, when I was a, a, a kid. I loved uh, some of the band, you know, I loved U2. I always loved so much. Pete O'Carey I loved uh, Yes and Rush and... Uh, Pink Floyd was one of my favorites. So th those were my mentors. What's your favorite candy? Ooh, I like sweet tarts. Old school, dry, chalky sweet tarts. Thanks again for watching my Ask Anything chat. Thanks to Romeo and to Most Requested Live for having me on the show tonight. And to answer your questions about our brand new song, Seasons. See you out on tour. Later this year, we love you, we miss you, and we'll see you soon.